Would you rather be tortured? Let's just say it's an hour, but you get to live at the end of it. Or I put a gun to your head and shoot you in the face and you die instantly. I've never been put in the position where I had to think about it because I've never been in the position to actually have to do it, you know what I mean? Just like the idea of eating vegetables alone just puts me off. I don't eat vegetables alone. It's a cow trying to escape being killed, actually. Do you think they understand a little bit? Definitely. They get scared? They're, they're beings. They're beings. Yeah. I could never do it myself, you know what I mean? I know it's wrong. I know it's yeah. wrong. Yeah. I could never do it myself. Like, we own farms and stuff. Like, I could I could never do it. Like, they do it because I was in the family. I could never do it though. Yeah. It's just like, but I still eat it. I mean, I don't know. So you still pay other people to do it for you? Yeah. I get, like, it's very, like, uh, I just say it. I don't know the word, but it's like hypocritical. Like, you know what I mean? I couldn't do it myself, but I get someone else to do it for me, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, I mean, I'm, I I'm, at least I'm aware of it. I don't I mean, have like, to tell you anything, really. Yeah, no, like, I'm not gonna, like, cover up. Like, I know it's. You're an honest person, actually. No, like. You're not trying to defend anything. No, like, you just, like, you know what's wrong. And you... That was my first step to changing, actually. I called I myself a hypocrite. I, could, I don't think I could do it without it. Like, lifestyle wise, I don't think I could. But in a practical sense? Like you don't I think should. You, I should, but I, I don't think I could. Because you you can't imagine how it could yeah, be done. I, I, like just like the idea of eating vegetables yeah. you know, alone just puts me off. I don't eat vegetables alone. Would you like the fake meat and stuff? Well, it depends. Like if I want a, a burger, I just get a vegan burger. If I want some ice cream, I just get some vegan ice cream. I've never tried it. Like I yeah, I've just never like thought about trying it. That's well, it. the first step is motivation. Like you said, they're beings. Mm. Do you think it's justified what happens to them so we can eat them? I think. What what bothers me more, like the killing bit, not so much. It's, it's not so much. It's the way, like the way to the killing. You know what I mean? Okay. Where they're like overstuffed to the point where they, like can't walk. Yeah. Just so like the plumpest chickens at the market. That's what bothers me a lot more than the actual killing. Because out in nature, it's it's war zone. I'm not saying they're destined to die straight away, but like it's a treatment beforehand. I think which really like bothers me the most. Why are you bothered that they experience suffering? Because they shouldn't, you know what I mean? Like in that sense. Yeah, yeah. Like you don't care just about suffering. You care about if that suffering is attached to someone, don't you? That's, that's why, like, a lot of people get moved by things that only affect them. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't affect them, so most people don't care. You would care if, like, a human being right now was suffering. Definitely. Yeah. Because you know something about human beings, don't you? Mm. That there's an individual experiencing that suffering. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. You kind of feel for. Well, it, inside you know? of you, both is a subject of a life. You're not just this body that experiences pain. There's someone in there that is suffering. Okay, that's your that's your being. That's who you are. And uh, do you think animals are someone as well? So you care about the individual that is suffering, the animal, yeah. who they are. So you said you didn't care about the killing, but no, why, why do you say I didn't care as much? I'm like. The main factor that the main, actually like puts the me suffering off is, is, is the is the suffering. Well, yeah, me. same with you. If you were both being tortured, that would bother me more than someone just walking up and shoot. But but wait a second. What if you were just being tortured and you got to live? There's like constant. What would you rather? I haven't asked anyone this before. Would you rather be tortured, cause suffering? Let's just say it's for an hour. Mm. I torture you both for an hour, but you get to live at the end of it. Or I put a gun to your head and shoot you in the face and you die instantly. You don't even have time to get scared. You'd rather get shot in the face and not live. Seriously? You? Or would you rather get tortured for one hour and live? But, yeah, I mean the idea of You get to continue your... You. No, wait, so you would rather die and lose the rest of your life to, to evade an hour worth of torture? Yeah. Really? I would rather someone torture me and I get to live for the rest of my life and enjoy I mean, it's only an hour. It, it depends on the extent of the torture, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, okay. you might not be able to have a good quality of life. What if it's about what? What if it's like, around about what a chicken experiences in a factory farm? I'm just trying to find out what you really think uh, is worse, like I mean, suffering or losing your life. What if you uh, relieve you of that suffering after you know a short amount of time and you get to live the rest of your life? How, how, how am I going to suffer though? Like, what are you going to do? Uh, well, just break both of your solution. arms or like, something. That's what I'm saying. Like, then, 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 yeah, extent, then yeah, I'll, I'll break both of your arms. I'll do it. 
with a hammer. It's harder than that. Well, okay. But you don't get to pick though if you're getting tortured like. No, no, I pick. pick you know I, I, mean? I break both of you, all of your arms with a hammer, yeah. and you get to live. Or I shoot you in the head really quickly. You don't feel it. You're just out, gone. You I lose your you, life. But like the quality of life you're gonna have after getting both arms broken, like you might not be able to recover fully, right? No, you will. So where's the like trade? In this hypothetical, you will. Be in torture. You pick the torture because you, you get torture. to live. Okay, so it's much worse to lose your life than it is to be tortured, as provided you're not being tortured for eternity. Yeah. You're, you know. It's yeah. A, yeah. It comes as a given, life. Yeah. So it depends on the extent of the torture, whether or not you'd yeah. want to. You'd want to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm trying to say, like, losing your life is very... It's, it's what everyone tries to avoid, right? Of course. Get the most before they get to that. And an animal does anything to survive. They're like us. Like, if I was chasing you around with a gun, you're going to be f***ing running. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. And they're no different. So, I was trying to get to this point where you go, it is actually just wrong to kill, unless you have a very, very good justification for it. What do you think about that? Do you, do you agree with me that it's wrong to kill if, unless you have a really good justification for it? It is wrong. But like, I've never been put in the position where I had to think about it because I've never been in the position to actually have to do it, you know what I mean? Like, I think to open people's eyes need to be presented with that opportunity. A lot of people will do it because the world's going crazy these days. But yeah. until you're put into the position where like, you actually have to hurt something or someone, then you don't kind of like, feel it, you know what I mean? Because you're not doing it, you're not affected I'm by trying it. to put you, not in the perpetrator's position mm -hmm. where you have to kill. I'm trying to put you mentally into the victim's position yeah, where you're going to die. And let's just say you're on the other end of my decision to kill you, and I say it's for a burger. And that I'll forget about tomorrow because I have burgers all the time. That's the thing, it's like, you like the flavor of their body. And they lose everything. Often, most of the time they are suffering in factory farms and having their calves taken, their piglets taken, and they're being often tortured and mutilated. This is just standard practice, but even in the hypothetical where they they don't suffer a humane situation. Still die. You're, you're murdering them, yeah. essentially. And the way they do it is just disgusting. Exactly. I, I wouldn't want them to be slaughtered in an inhumane, torturous way. Well, well, he jumped over. But I wouldn't want to be killed either. Yeah. By a hitman shot in the back of the head. So there's always a third option. There's torture and kill. Don't torture and kill. And then there's be vegan, which is the most preferable option for the animals. I mean, it depends on the person. It depends on this person. You can't change the world. I just feel like it's just it's been so normalized. I know. I only care about yous right now. I know there's it's a big problem. It's been normalized. That's the thing. It has. Like you're not gonna. No one's gonna yell at you right now if you go buy a burger with You'll get judged meat in by there. getting a vegan burger. No one. Well, no one will say. Yeah, yeah I get judged they'll, and abused online fucking, all the time. They're like, no, like they give you. A I get, look, like, oh, this bloody vegan. Uh, this, fake you know, cheese. I don't care actually because um, I what I, I believe, you, you, you I, I'm principled. For. Yeah, I stand for that. I, like, I will tell everyone to be vegan and I'll have the debate with them because I really truly believe in this because, you know, the, you I guys tell by that. Yeah, yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. I'm proud to be vegan. I'm proud to like in this world right now, everyone follows each other. It's like sheep. And I, yeah, exactly. Let, I love sheep though, but you're right. They they do yeah, easily they're, they're, they're easily led, yeah, yeah. and that's because they're so vulnerable. Actually, that's why they're so easily slaughtered as well. It's good to to be different, man. Go against the grain. Anyways, mate, we'll see you around. We've got right. time crunch. Where, where can we see this? This? Yeah. Do you want to see the video? Yeah, I mean, if you do want. Um, on. Yeah, Joe. This is my name here, Joey Carbstrong. Mm -hmm. You can look at my YouTube channel. Yeah, I'll take, just take something I can take a picture of. Go on, take the picture. This is my name here. We can mate. Have a nice one. Take do you care. want this? Did, you, did I give you I one? Mind. No. Okay, grab it. This is the best app, Happy Cow. Got you. Take right. care. Right. Peace. Right. No worries. Margarita now. Yeah, yeah, vegan. Use Happy Cow. So hello. Hi. Hello, hi. how are you? We're both vegan. Oh, really? Can I get a fat of course you can. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Really nice to meet you. Great to see you in action yeah. in person. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for being vegan. How long have you been vegan for? Six years. Now. Six years. Wow, yeah. six years. A lot of people have been vegan for six years, yeah. 2016. Yeah, it's Veganuary. Yeah. Veganuary. Ah, yeah. uh, bless Veganuary. And you stayed vegan ever since? Yeah, ever since, yeah. There you go, Matthew. <laughs> Veganuary. <laughs> Friends of mine, yeah. actually, Veganuary. Okay, take care. Have a good one.